Hello there, this is the ninth section of the Protopy course. Today we're going to learn how to create a login experience and that includes setting up inputs so that we can detect error messages but also we can scroll so that we can focus on the input itself and once the validation is good such as email at gmail.com then we can go to a success page with animation with the email that has been entered transferred over to a new text. This animation right here can be a GIF file or an MP4 file and you can find that on websites like lottiefiles.com where it's a good representation of your animation asset and in the final app you can be using the Lottie asset instead. So we're gonna start from scratch again and make sure to have your sketch file open. We're gonna import the login artboard. So I'm gonna create a new Pi and then I'm going to import from sketch, specifically the login at 3x. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is to set up my scroll. So the idea is that we're gonna put inputs and when you click on it it's going to scroll and focus on the inputs but the first thing is to create a scroll so i'm gonna create a new container a scroll container and set it to 100 percent width as well as height then put everything except for the status bar and the home indicator inside it so this is going to be called scroll and now my screen is scrollable. The first thing I'm going to do is to create those inputs. So in this container called inputs, we have bitmaps. So we're gonna replace these by inputs. I'm gonna go to text and insert an input. Now the goal is to recreate exactly the same style as this. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the fill, set it to opacity zero and the same for the border. Now I'm going to change the font to SF Pro Rounded 15 and then change the color. Let's change the placeholder text. So in placeholder, we're going to put your email in cap. The placeholder text can have a different color. So we can either use the same color or a different color. It's up to you. Now we just need to align this and replace the bitmap that you can delete now. If you want to fix the padding, you can scroll down to the bottom and just uncheck padding. And now I can name this to email, resize this a little bit, and then I can duplicate this and create password as well. So I'm going to move this and change the placeholder to password. And now I can delete the bitmap for password as well. So now we have inputs and if you click on it, you can start typing, but you can see that we have a problem with the focus on the input. And typically this is the same for when you're building the app, you actually have to have a scroll and then set the positioning of your content when the keyboard is showing. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're going to select the email field and then add a trigger for that that says focus. And focus, you have focus in and out. Focus in means that when this is being focused and out means that when you stop focusing on it or you're focusing on another field. So for focus in, I'm going to select the scroll and add a response for scroll and then scroll to 300 like this. So now if I click here, it's just gonna scroll to 300. I can do the same for focus out. So I need to select email first, add a trigger, focus, click on focus out, and then select the scroll, click on scroll, and go back to zero. So now I click here, and if I select outside, it's going to scroll back. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is when I click on login, it's gonna show me a success model with a Lottie animation. First of all, let's create that model. We're going to create it from scratch in Protopie. 
So the first thing is create a rectangle, set it to a size of 315 by 380. Then I'm going to center it within the screen. And then I'm gonna set the radius to 20 with the fill to white. I'm also going to add some depth, so shadow. I'm going to set 15% black, 20Y, and then 20 blur. And that adds a nice separation and depth between the modal and then the background UI. So we're gonna head to lottiefiles.com. We're gonna search for success. And then you're gonna need an account, but you can use any of these animations. So let's use this one, for example, or another one with an email like this one. And here, if you click on the triple dots, you can see that you can export to GIF, MP4. So these formats are supported by Protopie. And this one is when you're implementing in code in the real app. So that's great because you want a good representation between the prototype and the final app. In this case, I'm just gonna export to MP4 and use that file. So now I can just drag and drop the video file right here and it's going to play it but I have to make sure that I go to the bottom options and click on play automatically and then looping as well let me make sure to center this properly and we're gonna add some text so click on text and then move this right here I'm going to resize center the text set it to the same font so sf pro rounded and you can put any text right here like this secondly i'm going to duplicate this and put an email so that i can change it and show that i have submitted the email so email at gmail.com you can change the color and make it slightly bigger voila let me name this properly so that I don't get lost so success email and for this one it's just gonna be text I'm going to put these four layers into a group and call this success like this I can just change the opacity to zero by default and then using a trigger, I'm going to make it appear after the login button. So let's select the login button and click on tap. Then we can click on success, add a response for opacity to 100%. So now when I click on login, it shows my animation and the modal. Okay, so what if I wanna do some error messages? because this is something that a lot of designers forget about, but it's so important to include that in your design and also in your prototype. So when I click on an email, I don't enter anything, it should show me an error. So I'm going to create the design for that first. So clicking on text and move that right here. I'm going to set the size to 120 by 40. Then I'm gonna change the text to email invalid. Let's center the text, set to the same font, so SF Pro rounded, and also add a background. So the background is going to be red and have a radius of five. We're gonna make the color to be white and voila, so we have this little error message that appears when the email is invalid. Now we just need to create the interaction for it. First, I'm going to rename this to error. And then I'm going to add a condition for the tab. So this tab right here is going to have a condition. And for the condition, I'm going to check the input field. So email. If the email, not the exposition, but rather the text is equal to nothing, 
then I should be showing this error. So I'm gonna add opacity to 100%. But first I need to set this by default to 0%. And then I need to add another condition. So I'm gonna copy and paste this one and set it to is not equal to nothing. And at that point I can delete this and I can just move this one, which makes my modal appear. So now when I click on login and I don't have anything, it's just gonna show me the error message. But if I have something, it's gonna show me the success animation. I just need to make sure that I also reset so that I hide the error message as well when I click on submit and it's successful. So I'm gonna set to reset and voila. Now we're good. The last thing is to create a background where we can tap on and then exit this success. So I'm gonna create a background shape, set it to 100%. I'm going to set it to black and opacity zero by default. I'm gonna name this background and I'm going to put this underneath success and error but also underneath the bars. So the idea is that in the success screen, we're going to show that background. So using opacity to let's say 50%. And then when we tap that background, it's going to reset everything. So add trigger, tap, and then reset the background as well as the success and the error. So now I click here, goes to success, tap the background and it resets everything. We can also reset the email field and then we can put the text to the success page. So we want this text that we put to be shown right here, just as a confirmation that the email was submitted. So we're going to open the success container and then click on success email and this is where we're gonna go to the condition for success, add text, and then change to formula. Click on the formula, and then get the value of our email input. So tilde email dot text. Okay. Now, whatever we put here, we click, it's going to be reflected right here. And that's exactly what we want in order to create a realistic login experience. So today we've learned a bunch of new techniques, including how to work with inputs, how to validate the email, how to scroll the content, and then we've created a nice success model. So if you enter an email, it's going to be passed here with a GIF or MP4 file that is animated and looping. So I hope you find this useful. In the next session, we're going to learn how to chain 3D animations with a drag trigger. I think you're going to enjoy it, so I hope to see you in the next session.